All right, how did the day? I hope you brought your thigh high uh, waiters today because it's about to dig deep up in here and some economicness. All right, so we're going to be talking about some economic indicators today. Um, and basically what economic indicators are is it's like taking the temperature of the country of, or of an economic system. Um, and four things they use to do that are the gross domestic product or what will be referred to as the GDP. Uh, it's the value of all goods and services produced in a country. And we'll talk more specifically about that here in just a minute. Growth rates. How much an eco economic activity in specific parts of the con uh, economy? They take specific parts, and we'll look at some of the specific parts in a few minutes. Um, but how much growth occurs in those specific parts? Um, unemployment rate, the total number of workers who are out of work and who are seeking jobs. This isn't just people who are out of work. These are people who are out of work and are actively seeking jobs, okay? Because uh, there are a lot of people, you, your unemployment rate would be much higher if it was just all the people who didn't work. Uh, think about uh, housewives who don't have a job, uh, and but they don't want one. They're not looking for one. They're supported by their husband and they raise the kids. Or uh, older people who are retired that are not looking for jobs. Uh, if you counted all these people in, your unemployment rate would be uh, extremely much higher. Um, and an inflation rate, the rise in prices for goods and services. All right, so let's find out what all of this is, because this is getting some crazy speak here. I, it's like, man, I've heard some of this stuff, but I just kind of tune out when they start going into all this mess. Well, let's find out what it is so that when somebody brings it up, we can actually understand what's going on. Not like they're talking about, so let's learn how to translate all this. GDP, okay. What that is, is it's private consumption, and this is kind of the formula to figure it out. Private consumption plus government spending plus investment plus exports minus imports. Or in this case right here, exports minus imports, you could just substitute in trade balance. And we'll find out what that means here in just a minute. Private consumption, pretty much that's personal expenses. Like if I've spent the money I spend on food, I went and bought groceries the other day, uh, yesterday, and I spent uh, $63 or so uh, buying groceries. Uh, what you spend on housing, like your rent or your uh, house note, what you spend on your car, all the stuff that people spend personally, uh, that falls under private consumption. Okay? They add all that up. They add government spending. Uh, how much the government spends on goods and services. For example, how much it pay, pays its employees. You know, how much am I paying all my employees? How much am I paying to have the roads worked on? Uh, you know, the materials to bring in the asphalt, to bring in the bulldozers and, and everything needed, uh, the seam rollers to, to pave those roads. Um, so anything that the government is spending money on. Uh, investments. Uh, when businesses, they take a look at business investments. So they take, uh, whenever a business is putting into uh, some other kind of uh, business or investing into something, and they're taking and putting their money into capital. They add that in. And then they look at exports and imports. Uh, exports are goods that we make here and we sell to another country. We send them out. We export them out. Imports are goods that are made in other countries and are sent uh, here to be sold okay exports are is money that we actually keep we bring into this company into this country because we're selling it from somewhere else let's say we make uh, a, a Chevy and we send that Chevy out to uh, Japan and they buy a Chevy in Japan which is highly unlikely but let's say they buy our Chevy in Japan uh, we get that money and that money comes back here more likely what happens, uh, dealing with cars, you know, imports, you know, Toyota. You know, Toyota's made in, from a, in another country, sent here. Uh, usually, in what we actually nowadays is have a lot of the factories that they're put together here. The parts are made somewhere else, and then it comes here, and we, you know, put it together here. But 
uh, it is imported or shipped into our uh, country from Asia. And then we buy it here and that money goes back to Asia. Uh, whichever country, you know, specifically they come, you know, the car come from. Uh, trade balance is whenever you take your exports and you minus your imports. However much money you're bringing in from in exports, you subtract however much money you're losing for imports, and that gives you your trade balance. And all that equals your GDP. All right. GDP is usually a huge number. It's like, oh, wow, that's a, like a huge number. Try to sit here and count to a trillion. Uh, I'll see you when you're about 72. All right, so $15.1 trillion was the U.S. Uh, GDP in 2011. It was 24.35%, so basically 20, almost 25% of the world's economy, almost a fourth of the world's economy was in the United States. And to show you that there's growth, in 2010, there was it was $14.6 trillion. So it increased by $500 billion uh, that it went up from 2010 to 2011. Another way to look at it is uh, you could look at GDP per capita. Okay, and what this means is for every person in the United States, the GDP is $37,691. Okay, so if you broke it down to every, this number, this 15.1 trillion, to every person living in the United States, this is the number that you would get. For example, uh, why is this important? China has a very large GDP. Well, they have a much larger population than us. And so if you look at their population, per or their GDP per capita, it's way smaller than what it would appear to be if you just looked at their actual GDP, because they have so many, uh, such a high population. Growth rates. These are some of the, remember we said that it was how much growth is in specific areas, and these are the different areas. Corporate profits. How much are businesses making? How much profit are they getting? Uh, farm income. How much are uh, farmers earning? Industrial production. How much is uh, the growth in production? Uh, new housing construction. How many new houses are being built? Are we building more new houses or is new housing market's kind of down? Personal income. How is How much money are people making? Retail sales. How much are people buying? You know, these are all indicators that go into the growth rates that are a part of, uh, that is an economic indicator. Uh, and then inflation. Inflate what? All right, it's not like inflating a tire. The, this is inflation is what happened with prices. They rise, okay? Kind of like when you inflate a tire, the car or bike or whatever you're inflating is going to rise. Um, the Consumer Price Index, uh, the CPI, it's a measure of the average change in prices of certain goods and services typically purchased by consumers. Basically, it's how much a gallon of milk goes up because this is what you always hear people talking about man a gallon of milk is expensive or if you ever listen around listen to uh, you know old timers you or people you hear man i remember when i used to be able to buy that coke for a nickel actually i get that coke in a moon pie i'd be a nickel just a nickel that's how much it'd take me i'd get change back well you know and nowadays it costs you know just to buy a coke alone it's almost two bucks um uh, so it shows you how that has raised, okay? And by looking at how fast the CPI raises, we can figure out the inflation rate. We can figure out, okay, well, back, you know, in 1950, I could buy that Coke for a nickel. Well, in 2014, I can buy this Coke for $2. So you see, you can take that and then figure out the inflation rate. Uh, now, an inflation-adjusted price shows the present cost of a good you take this inflation rate uh, and then you apply it to the good to and bring it forth to this year and it would show you uh, what that would cost. Let's say <clears throat> a gallon of milk or let's stick with that Coke. That Coke, let's say inflation was 
uh, a certain percentage, and inflation only would show it that hey, you should be buying that Coke for a dollar fifty, not two dollars. That Coke has actually raised the price a little bit more. They've increased their profit. It's not just inflation. Uh, where some things uh, you might look at it and it should it might tell you hey, you should be paying two dollars and a quarter for that Coke. So instead, uh, Coke is losing a little bit of their profits, um, depending on what the inflation rate was. Um, so these are all what we call economic indicators, and they kind of tell us how our economy is doing. So if you're ever wondering, these are the things that you look at, and this is why uh, whenever they get in politics, they get to talking about, and these are some of the major things they refer to, to talk about how the country is doing. Unemployment, uh, inflation, uh, the GDP. Um, you hear all these things over and over again when you listen to the news. So hopefully this helps let you see what they mean. Uh, still waiting for somebody to bust me out of this digital prison. Come on, people. Get on this. Until later. Deuces!